All right, ladies and gentlemen, back to the other side. That was the passenger side I did with this. Okay, this is the driver's side. So, put my tool back on there, put it in the vise, about four or five good wax, and my bearing or seal press, whatever, busted. I did the driver or did the passenger side with it, but it busted on this side. So, it was getting late, and so I was just aggravated. So, I didn't want to. Go to the 40 minutes down the road to get another adapter. So I had this old wheel bearing laying out on my buddy's truck. It ain't no good. The center bearing's bad. But I don't need it for that. So I had to replace this joint. Anyway, so keep in mind, this shaft was not connected to this one. So I had to shove stub shaft only. So I took it. Set it like that. And the press. These, they're right here on the outer side of the hub, was sitting on the press. Right here was where it press, where, where the press comes down like this and pushes it. So I had, this joint was not here, this tall long shaft for the driver's side going into the tube was not there. So you just had this stub shaft sticking out only. Put the seal on there with some lubricant. Had that part shimmed up really good, so it set on that on the press and just jacked the press down and it pushed it right on there. Like I said, it took a couple minutes to figure it out, but late at night when you're trying to get shit done, you know. And then I realized the other part didn't come in like it's supposed to. It's a day late now. So anyway, yeah, I just put it in the press and pressed that seal right down in there like that. So if you got an old hub bearing, I definitely suggest doing that. It's a lot easier than trying to find the tool, especially when nobody around here seems to have that tool for some reason. Like I said, this is on a 2002 Ford F350. We're still putting it together. There's the new bed and stuff. I'll show videos on all that stuff. But yeah, thanks a lot. And like I said, I hope this helps somebody. Just put it in the press, take this joint loose, pop it loose, and just jack it down on there if you have to. And that's how I got the driver's side one. Thanks a lot, and I really hope this helps someone. Like I said, this is Adam, and y'all have a great day.